hardest hit areas. There's still some big problems in the community of Wilderness Rim just outside of North Bend. This power pole blocking one of the main ways in and out of this neighborhood. Crews haven't even made their way over here yet. They're still focused on some of the smaller jobs. They're going from block to block, trying to get the electricity back on as people use generators and trying to stay warm. A strong gust knocked a giant tree onto Jeff Miller's house. Got out of bed. There was uh, insulation all over the floor. A well-meaning tree removal crew accidentally punched another hole in the roof. This worries me because uh, the rain could come through and more damage there. Two days after Sunday's storm, cleanup and repairs are still a challenge throughout parts of western Washington, especially neighborhoods tucked in the woods. And I, if I had a chainsaw, I'd be over here and I'd try to chain, you know, I'd do it myself. Thousands like Ronnie <laughs> Beasley are waiting for the power to come back on. I've got a wool jacket on, I'm layered like three layers and that kind of stuff, and I slept in my clothes all night long. <laughs> In Auburn, PSE crews work to replace toppled power poles. There's a long list of locations they need to visit next. Well, and a lot of times we're like the last one to get power put back on. Patty Hoyapotabi and her family aren't stressing just yet. This is just part of life on the edge of wilderness. This is just what we're used to. And I love it anyway. And if people don't like trees, they can move back to the city. <laughs> That's it. A lot of people are planning for another frigid night. It could be a day or two or even midweek before power crews are able to get the electricity back on to all of the homes out here. And if you live in a farther out, more rural area, you got to be even more patient. Near North